very commonly uh, patient and patient attendants ask regarding the life of the stent like once they get these medicated stents implanted in the coronary artery how long they can work and what will happen later on so generally if the patient is not having diabetes or any kidney disease or the stent size is not very uh, small the lesion that blockage is not very long and very long stents are not used and patient is generally taking double blood thinners for longer time these stents do work very well and we have seen that these medicated stent are patent in these patients for at least 10 year 15 year 18 year also we have seen so we uh, just can't say like how long that will persist patent in a particular patient all these are criteria basically depend upon the physical profile of patient and comorbidity profile if patient is uh, not having lifestyle changes not uh, taking less cholesterol or not using proper medications it has reduced their medications not controlling their blood pressure blood sugars then getting re-intervention chances are more and they may come back quite early uh, sometimes we have seen in aggressive atherosclerotic disease and diabetic patient they come uh, as early as a few months and if they are controlling everything properly and taking care of risk factors then they have these tense patents for years together another very common question is asked by attendants and patient like once we get our stent implanted so uh, what are the chances of their blockage so uh, we do see uh, re-interventions in a previously implanted stent and we do re-intervention in such scenario but uh, how soon that blockage will happen basically decided by the multiple comorbidities a patient have like patient is diabetic and over that sugars are not well controlled patient is dyslipidemic and lipidemia ldl is not under target range for therapy and patient is a ckd patient where uh, heterosclerotic propensity is very high in such scenarios these patients can have uh, very early blockage and re-blockages in these stents so generally what we do when these patients come for the intervention and when there is a angina again angiography done and stent failure has been seen so generally the early stent failure uh, sometimes related to technical uh, failure as well so if that technical issues are taken well care while doing angioplasty these does not happen but delayed stent failures are mainly related to the patient clinical profile being diabetic hypertensive being thyroid being dyslipidemic if these are well controlled we can delay the blockage of these stents and if they come we do reintervene by putting another stent so we again do balloon angioplasty we open up the new lesion again with balloon properly and new stent drug coated stent is again put over that and the channel is again cleared off with the blockage